right? Now, put your sword wherever it is you want it to be. Get a feel for how it feels in your body. Now, come back into your guard. Then slowly, and this just goes straight to the target and chop. All right? Come back to your guard. Do it again. Come back to your guard. <laughs> I'll just breathe and have you. Okay. <laughs> Tell your opponent, because remember, this is practice, right? All right. Just say, could you just hold it? I want to practice. Okay? And if he closes up a little tighter like this, all right, then maybe you have to go here. In other words, if that's where the sword has to be, then that's where you have to drop it in. All right? But practice that slow until finally your body just gets used to what you have to do. The nice thing is, don't cream them when you're practicing. Yeah. You're, you're not trying to hurt them. You're right. practicing the movement and teaching your muscle what you would do. Okay, so you may want to be a little closer. And turn that right side of the body in. That, thanks so you. Now you got more range, all right? And when you do, um, don't flail this out here. Oh. Keep it. Remember, you're, you're, you're hiding behind this almost, okay? So as you go in, Here's, here's what I'm talking about. You got your sword in your leg. Don't do this. Because he's going to come right in, right? What you do is the shield stays where, it want, where you want it and you move in behind it. Okay? Take your guard. Now, just practice slowly making that move to put that sword where you want it to be. So, that's it. Now, if you need to be closer, step closer.
Just, just place it. Just put it there. Okay. So you can do it. Post. That's it. All right now. Okay. You see, you're up like this. You're not like this. Like this. Now go back to your guard. Okay. Keep that up. Now you put it where you want it in. Oh. That's it. This comes up. Now go back to your guard. Put it. Put it there. Okay. And back. Now faster. Okay, and faster. And back up again. Do it again. Okay? So when you see that opening up there, you know that you can hit it. You just have to get it up and tip your hand a little higher than normal. Okay? Practice that, and then when you fight him, you can hit him again. Now, which sword do you want to use? I like this one because I don't want to use it. There is an advantage. What is it? Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Make your guard. Lay on. Remember, you don't have to keep fighting, you can take a break. <laughs>